Today, I'm gonna to show you how I went from this to this. Okay, welcome back to another episode of Paul's Collectibles. Today, we're gonna to talk about how I lit my Detoff shelves where I keep my helmet collection. And I looked around on the internet and believe you me, there's a tons of different ways to do this. There's a ton of different methods you can take and you can spend a lot of money or you can make it as easy as possible. As you're well aware, I'm a casual collector, so this was a very quick, very easy, and very inexpensive way that I found to light these cabinets. You spend all these money on these helmets, let's at least make it so they're pretty to look at. All right, let's take a look. Okay, to begin with, these are the two tools and the lights that you will need. Like I said, it's uh, direct and simple and to the point. Just a standard pair of regular household scissors. Any drill will do with a half inch bolt. I just happen to have a battery powered Ryobi. And then these incredibly convenient lighting every or light ever or lighting ever. Better lighting, better life lights. This is the daylight white version, not the warm white version. You can see the difference there. You can choose whichever you prefer. These are flexible LED strips and they come out on that little wheel and they are basically like tape and the back of them are exceedingly sticky. And the LEDs are very bright. I've used them in different places around my house. And what I liked about these is I was able to install them in the cabinet without using any twist ties or any zip ties, any glue or anything else for the most part. So let me show you my cabinet and we will take a look at how I put them in. And really quick, I will put a link down below where I got these on Amazon in case you're interested as well. They come in a bunch of different lengths. As a refresher, for those of you who may not have seen some of my previous helmet videos, these are standard Detolf cabinets from Ikea and I have them completely full, as you can see, but they don't come with any quality lighting and it's kind of boring and dull. So I decided to spruce things up a bit, like I said, by putting some lights in there. Okay, I'm sure it goes without saying, but if you are doing this after you've already loaded your cabinet, you'll have to pull all your helmets out and pull out those glass shelves because you're going to need to lay the shelf down on the floor on its back. When you do so, this door is going to need to be opened. So I don't know what kind of a load bearing structure this hinge right here is, but this is a kind of a, I don't know, I don't want to say flimsy, but it's glass. and. That's not meant to be a load bearing structure, I'm guessing. So when I laid it down, I put a cloth chair up against it, that one right there, so the door could lean up against it and it wouldn't fall down or fall off or become broken. Once you've got everything emptied out of your shelf and you have it laying down, what you need to do is start down at the bottom. These lights come with, obviously, a way to plug them into a wall and you can just see it back there that is a dimmer switch so this is where the half inch drill bit comes in you're going to need to add a hole into the bottom of the shelf and i found that the half inch drill bit moved around a little bit was just enough to get this cord through there and we will turn slowly here from there you can see the lights see how they're just taped all you have to do is literally just press them against there I tried to keep them at a slight angle so they were aiming towards the helmet a little bit, not completely towards the back. And the key and important thing to understand here is that you want to put that hole on the side closest to where you're going to be plugging them in to make your life as simple as possible. Then you start literally sticking the lights to that interior gray pole that is on the inside. And as you can see from this angle, they go all the way up. And you just simply keep going up, making sure you stay on the other side of this gray pole because the shelf's gonna have to lay back on top of it. Take your time when you do it. They're pretty simple to install though. Continue to mash them down as you go while it's on the floor. And then when you get to the top, you simply bend the tape here. And I just went across the top of the shelf right there that's where it magnetizes to the door. So make sure that your light is behind that magnet so that the door doesn't get in the way. You tape them back around onto the pole here and then 
on down, on down, on down. And then when you get to the bottom, you simply cut with that pair of scissors, the excess. Now, going back over here to this hole, you can see right here, this is black. Well, on the product, this little case for the cord is actually kind of white. So you don't have to, I did because I'm kind of OCD. I took some black electrical tape and I went around to make it pretty. Then the cord runs underneath, out the side, underneath my other detoff, and then they go into a power strip, which is down the line a little ways. And it's literally that simple. It took me about 20 minutes to do each of these shelves. Now let's take a look at what they look like when they're on. Okay, you can see the difference now. The unfortunate thing I will show you, just so you know I'm not cheating. Yes, I have two helmets up top and they're getting lit right now because I have my homemade diffuser helping me light this video. But for the most part, they're in the dark because they don't fit inside the detolf and I'll have to come up with a solution for them later. But as you can see, it's really hard to see the lights when you're done. The ones up top kind of blend in. They're against the pole coming all the way down here and they just provide a great wonderful, wonderful, excuse me, source of illumination into those cabinets and you can barely see them if you aim them correctly. And even then, even if you don't aim them perfectly correctly, they're still hard to see. Looking over here at the other shelf, I did the exact same thing. Now I'll show you one mistake I made. When you're putting these lights down, make sure that you're pushing the tape down as you go. Because as you can see, in this corner up here, when I got up here, I didn't push that all the way down. And I didn't realize it until I got all the way to the bottom and cut it. So unless I want to undo all the way down there, loose, come all the way back up, and then push this part down and then do go again, which I don't feel like doing, I'm just gonna have to live with that. And to be frank, once you close the door, you never even see it. No one has noticed it yet. And there you have it. It's literally that simple. My advice is to plug them into a power strip and then plug that power strip into a switch that is controlled, as you can see back there, by the light switch in the room. Set them on the proper brightness or dimness that you want. There's the other dimmer. You can barely see it when because it, it's black. And then that way, when you come in the room, you can do like I do and impress all your friends and relatives because when they first come in, this is kind of what they see, minus the diffuser, of course. <laughs> and I've got a few lights, which will come on in a second here. And then you push the switch, because everything's in the same power strip, and ta-da! Lighted case, some accent lighting down there, and a couple of lights to light up my stormtroopers. Okay, and it's just that easy. Like I said, about 20 minutes a piece. I tell you what you will discover also when you put these lights in your case. You'll discover just how dirty they are. So I have some window cleaner that I use for my car, which is really pure because of the window tinting. Windex tends to make things streaky or change the color of the tint on cars, so I don't recommend you use that. I've heard other guys tell me that they use a little bit of vinegar and water, but whatever it is, while the case is either upright or laid down with all the shelves that I highly recommend you clean it if you've been using them before you put the lights in there because you'll be able to see everything. And that's how I got it done. Before we go, I just wanna give a quick shout out to my friend KC in Southern California, who's a member of the 501st Legion. He is a scout trooper there for this awesome custom Star Wars shirt that I was able to show off in this video today. And there you have it. So if you have any questions, if you're not sure what I was talking about or I went a little too fast or my videography skills are terrible as usual and you didn't quite catch something, by all means, let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions and help in any way I can so that you too can better display your helmets, make them more impressive. All right, take care.